Here's how this flying ball works. It has a fan inside, actually two fans. One stabilizes, the other creates lift. And it has this little gold strip of LEDs. So you power it on with this button, very small button inside, and the LEDs indicate that it's on. The activator for the motor has a little electric motor in there. It is rechargeable. The activator happens when you lift this up. So you give it a little shake up and it will flip, flip on. Let me show you how it flies. It's not a perfect flyer, but it's pretty awesome. Now the flight is a little unpredictable. You never know exactly where it's gonna go, but that's kind of what's fun about it. Kids can chase it around. I mean, it's just kind of wild, but at the same time, it's just a ball. There are no blades protruding. It'll bounce into things, but it's just a plastic ball. So it's not really dangerous. All right, so I showed you how to turn it on. You just sort of shake it upwards. It will stay on, like it'll stay on for a long time until it bumps into something. So basically, so if it crashes into something, it will alert that same sensor that turned it on and that'll shut it off. It's got a little bit of unpredictability, but it's also a lot of fun. The USB plug is right in here and it's possible that this thing gets twisted so you can't really reach it. So you might need to reach in there. I'm just using like the end of a wood spoon to plug it in to charge it up. And again, the power button is just this button right here. So you just push that guy to turn it on and off. The cage itself is plastic. And if it bounces into stuff, and it will, it sort of bounces back. It's got a plasticky, soft exoskeleton. And like I said, it's not a perfect flyer. Like it doesn't just stay in perfect motion in one place. It'll tip a little bit, air currents will catch it, but that's kind of what's really cool about it.